Hey there, all you property managers and board members of HOAs. I want to talk to you about the ficus. Okay, you walk up to a ficus. Some of it looks great. Other parts look like a little taco. Open those tacos. What will you find? Aphids, white flies, and all sorts of other issues. Unfortunately, the ficus is kind of something that nobody plants anymore because of the consistent issues. You just have to spray, 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 spray. And nobody wants to be spraying these chemicals anymore. So what do we do? We have all of this hedge. You can see here, this is a different hedge. This is green arbicola down here on the bottom, right? So what we did here was they planted a green arbicola all the way down, up underneath the ficus, right up against it. As it grows up, you thin out the ficus and eventually the green arbicola will take over. This is kind of a, um, not cheaper, but um, so you don't have to do it all at one time. The cost of tearing out all that ficus it damages the irrigation when you tear it all out. And you can do it in small sections at a time to help you save some money so you don't get hit with one big cost. So eliminating the ficus by replacing it with the green arbicola. Why the green arbicola? Because it can take the shade. A lot of plants, if you stick them underneath another plant, they can't take the shade and they'll die off and they'll be sparse and they'll be spotty. Uh, Calusia probably wouldn't like that even though everybody loves the Calusia. It doesn't love the shade, but the green arb will take the shade. As you can see here, it's in the shade underneath this big tree. So if you're looking to replace your ficus, Go with the green arb. We can try this solution. Uh, work it from the ground up.